Hello everybody, this time you got a BMW, the the most best car, everybody likes it, do it. Uh, what the model it is? Uh, 2014 year made, yes? Yes. E, no, it's F, uh, F32, uh, and it's got, what the engine is inside? Uh, it's a petrol engine with the 2.8, whoa, 2.8, it's a definitely very good car. It's a Cope actually, look, it's got only... What it says, three door system. Okay, so the problem is the problem was uh, before. Give me the light, actually. Do you have a light? Um, then the steering rack, uh, steering rack, uh, it was completely, fu uh, yes, it was bad. It was bad. It was like uh, clicking, knocking, and stuff like that. So we did get another one. Here we go, the another one rack. Um, actually, what we've done here is basically. Uh, swapped over but after a swapping with the used one we get another problem another problem was just it stopped working somehow we get the used one and it stopped working check probably you have just the same problems you have one sensor there and in here something missing yes show me what is missing missing is uh let me go on the wide angle this little part guess what it is yes this is the engine fitted with the belt where the belt is inside sometimes probably guys told them this belt can be broken can be blocked or something or, or fold off but oh, actually this belt is huge look I don't think it's so easy to be broken but probably yes and uh, the mostly problem is inside where's the problem is inside can we show the problem okay Zygmars let us know what the fuck you doing here what is this we broke every single plastic part around here because it was impossible to remove Yes. And what we can see inside, there was water inside. Yes, yes. Keep keep telling. So I let the Zigmas to show everything, all that shit. What is that? <laughs> the mic microchip is actually full with white stuff, you see? Inside here. Inside here, everything is white. And the hairs are broken. So electric part won't work. And that was the whole problem. Of this of the steering rack so yeah we put a new electric part this part we put just in wires and we just connected the diagnostic system started the car and everything was working perfectly fine no fault codes so we're gonna put this thing back and everything will be okay I hope so so yeah thanks for watching and good luck with your repairs so, till the one guy is screwing things in, and other guys do the stuff. Look what they're doing. Guess what is that? Keep going! Smack that shit! Do we put this back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we put it back to the car. This is how you must fix the BMW. Easy! But actually, what we're doing, we want to find out what the problem was. Uh, why was that... What is the cheeky quickie sound? Basically, like uh, when you're driving on the little hips and bumps, uh, you get this sound. This uh, very, very bad sound coming out from the steering rack. So now guys trying to find the problem. I don't know, probably they will fix it now. And this will be like a brand new. What did you say, Zygmars? Is this thing what you're doing now is uh, legal? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we don't care, you know. Asuji. <laughs> Our main goal is just yeah. to make the car working. Main goal is to get this thing running. We need yeah. to still do some adaptation, put some clips oh. on. We don't need How much clips we have on this side? Oh, here you go. Probably you always see that. Um, water the margin here. Water the margin here. Please, guys, little bit need in here. You see that processor? Put this thing in. Yeah, just in here. Little need a knack. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. How to remove the processor. But actually, this lovely thing is very smart. Look on the chip on the front. Oh, I think so. I will make photo like that. Yes, will be perfect photo. Steering rack. Lovely stuff. Yes, very, very lovely stuff. And I think so. If everything is okay, probably we're gonna, yeah, definitely replace and get the 
you can get the new one. New one cost 3.6 grand. No, rapidly. So more than 3 grand euro. Uh, the used one, how much was the used one? 300 euros for the used one. So it's just nothing. If you can get for 300 used one. Okay. But uh, I will show you later the fold codes is what the fold codes was. All right, guys, we are going for the test drive. The Zigitron now is with the PC control on. So Zigitron, what are you going to see now on your PC <laughs> computer? I'm trying to find the fold codes. If yes. there is any, then we will try to solve the problem. If there's none, then we'll find. Okay. Uh, so we go left, yes. And uh, go left. we go like a test drive around the Dubna. Dubna actually is a place in Latvia. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! You scuppered the iceberg? Do you close the bonnet? That's good. It wasn't open. Yeah! That's a lovely power, isn't it? The BMW. Actually, this kind of car, which is <laughs> F32 module, a 2014 year made. F series is excellent cars, actually. They are very, uh, I would say, pretty much strong. Because look on the steering rack. The steering rack you can disassemble very easy. You can put it in the parts. The guys done one thing, which when I did not uh, made a video, they done uh, regulating with the belt. They basically done the tension of a belt. Can you imagine that? It's so cool, isn't it? Uh, look, uh, can you click the vehicle status? So we want to see if there is some fault codes or no. Just click vehicle status, okay. Look, perfect, perfect. Uh, go down. And you have some fault codes on. Uh, yes, yes. Check control. Okay, let's check. It's washer only washer fluid. fluid level. That's it. Before that, there was a steering rack problem, and there was a fault code on the dash. And no fault codes in steering and rack. No fault in the steering rack. Can you beat that? So easy. So basically, uh, you no need to code anything at all. Uh, mostly, you just need to swap correct things. Okay. So we done the test drive now, and I think so. That's pretty cool. Now the car goes like the BMW should go, isn't it? All right, guys, I would say thank you very much for the watching. The BMW is completely fixed. The module is swapped. You don't need the coding, nothing. If you swap just the electronic side and the mechanically, basically mechanical side, you put you any you want, you any need. So just swap that up and you're done. When the guys keep getting another Hellcat, probably, or the BMW, if you are interested in the cars from USA and America, that's what we can help you, definitely. The Petrix now is doing already the online coding now. So the next thing is, I hope so, the next thing is the next video is a Hellcat about the brake pads. So, thanks for watching, good luck, stay tuned, stay cool, X-Drive, 428, injector. Thanks for watching, bye.